States. The United States Air Force, a great nation. Please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation. We love it. I'm going to be good service. Thank you. Please accept these ceremonial rounds as our way of saying thank you for the honor of the service of your life. Thank
details of the pit as if it had just happened once, and not that weeks ago. Through her stories, we learned of her switcheroo twin shenanigans, her bad first dates accompanied by, accompanied by language, language barriers, and the time of the tornado headed towards her that she told to hike, hike, take a hike, and it did. The time that Paul proposed to her but dropped the ring in the grass, driving a stiff ship, stick shift car and taking fast rides in cars, falling into the lap of her honey with an awkward whatever her dad saw the night before their wedding, Air Force recollections of past times, and even dare I say it, dancing on the table in public. She would laugh as memories danced across her mind, animating her as if she had been captured through those moments in time. Her smile could light up the room, and she was always a center of attention in any room that she was in. Marlene was a hard worker, and while her path would make her family to focus on her life, she had a few jobs that she worked at, ever with a busy body. After she graduated from high school, Marlene joined the United States Air Force at the Orlando Air Force Base, never settling for the ordinary life. She said she joined the service to have something to do and somewhere to be. She loved the experience of the barracks, and she made friends with a few of the gals she grew fond of. Full transparency, Marlene made sure that she was never a lack of things to do. That said, joining the Air Force would be more fulfilling than she bargained for. One destined day, she caught a glimpse of a cute fellow with perfectly combed hair, a warm smile, and eyes that locked onto hers. With her gaze would wrap each other in an endless love, like something out of a fairy tale story. Marlene found the love of her life, her Paul, her soon to be forever and always. Marlene, a fellow romantic, was off the face by this charming fellow. He courted her, taking on movie nights, window shopping, strolling hand in hand, laughing until the sun came up. Thank you. 
example of this one is whenever she was faced with the dilemma of being called grandma. Sure, the term had been used for years already, but she disliked it very much. Disliked what it sounded like and how it made her feel. Anyone who knew her would say that she had a heart of a young one, full of energy and vivaciousness. And grandma, her mother, etc. just didn't feel like it resonated with her. So one summer she said, I don't want to be called grandma anymore. Let's change my name. Her granddaughters, Tiffany, Charlie, and Alicia, decided that the most fitting name for this woman was their dearest.
Christ told you. Keep her in your heart by living her teachings daily. Treating the love and life she gave you. She's listening, watching, and smiling down on us, knowing that one day we'll be united once again. Thank you.
Milford Hills, 205. For those who missed that, it's 205 Milford Hills. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right. That was a hard one. Yeah, <laughs> I know. All right. Thank you. All right.